Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am PNG and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021, where last time out, of course, we got ourselves lots of lovely new animals. So if we take a look over here, you can see that we now have many, many chickens, and over here we have an awful lot of quail, down here we've got lots of sheep, and over here we have a great number of ostriches. Now let's not forget, of course, that there were animals on the farm prior to these ones being introduced, because we have the wonderful fish over here, and the always fantastic bees over here. So we now do have quite a lot of animals on the farm which is wonderful and things are looking very good things are looking very good on our little farm we're now selling things like wool and eggs and milk and other bits and bobs so it is all working out quite nicely indeed however let us begin by addressing something that got pointed out by many 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 people in the previous video so yes i am well aware that the animals in this game can breed so if we were to just buy a small number of animals, over time those animals will have baby animals and it's the circle of life, it's a wonderful thing. And I know this, I'm absolutely aware of that. So yes, the animals can have animal babies, but it just makes sense to me to get in as many animals as possible, as early as possible, to make the most of the things that they're producing, be it, you know, wool or eggs or milk or whatever it is. That is why we maxed out our animals. I mean, with these ones over here, I think with the actual, the chickens and the quail, they're not that expensive. They're only 20 farm manager monies each. So it's not that expensive to buy in the 25 chickens and the 25 quail. So you might as well do that as soon as possible. And then they can start producing eggs and then you can sell the eggs. And then at some point you'll actually, you know, pay back the cost of the quail and then the coops they live in. And that's kind of why we did that early. We just got all the animals in so they can make many eggs and we can make as much profit as possible. I mean, okay, the sheep, are a little bit more expensive. They're 350 farm manager monies a piece, which you know, is more expensive than the birds. However, when we're spending half a million money on a factory down here, 350 money is an absolute steal. So that was not really a problem either. We could afford that. Now the ostriches, yes, okay, they were a little bit more expensive. Possibly we could have bought less of those and let, you know, nature do its thing and repopulate them naturally, if you like. But again, we had the money. We're not short of a few farm manager money. So it was okay. It was okay. But maybe in the future, if there are very expensive animals like these, perhaps we could buy a few less and then yes, just let nature take its course and such like. Actually, whilst we're looking at the ostriches, somebody in the comments on the previous video pointed something out about our ostriches and I had to go and check it out. So I did a spot of Googling and it is somewhat odd, shall we say. So all of the ostriches here that you can see before you, they are producing lovely ostrich eggs and we're selling those and they're making lovely money and it's all wonderful. However, these ones here, these ostriches, the ones with the black feathers and the white tips, they are male ostriches. They're all blokes. These are all bloke ostriches. Apparently the female ostriches are brown. So how are we getting eggs? How are we getting eggs from a great big load of male ostriches? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure how that's happened. Life uh, finds a way, I suppose. I'm not really sure how that's happening. Do you know what though? I'm not that bothered. They can continue to produce lovely, lucrative ostrich eggs. I don't know how you're doing it, chaps, but you just carry on there. It's all wonderful. So today, We've got quite a few things that I would like to get sorted. And the first thing we should get, now that we're looking at animals, is a vet. Because we don't have a vet, and we now have, yes, lots and lots of animals to be cared for. So I think a vet would be a very sensible thing, because they're just going to go and keep the animals healthy and, you know, heal the sick ones and such like. So I think that should be our first, sort of, uh, our first order of the day. The only thing is, I don't know how expensive they are. Uh, I think they're over in there, aren't they? How much is a vet? A veterinary clinic is, oh, it's only 18 grand. It's 18 grand and it's 27 per month. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So the vet will ensure the good condition of your animals and cure them when needed. Okay, yeah, let's get a vet in, shall we? So if we just rotate that round, where can the vet go? I mean, if it goes out, can it fit there? If it could fit there, that would be perfect. I think it can. I think it's three... It's three deep, isn't it? Yes, it can fit just there in this space, which I'm not really sure what else we can use it for. That's perfect. Yeah, there you go. Go in there and it moves the sort of electricity pole thing around. Oh, okay, that's wonderful. Right, let's get the vet in. And then yes, as well on today's agenda is to get another one of these, another worker house, employ many people who are good at working with animals, and then just get more animals. Just get more and more animals in. But first things first, yeah, let's get the, uh, let's get the vet in. Where are the people on the roof doing the roof dance? There they are. Yay, they're all in sync. That's wonderful. There we go. Right. How does this look? It looks very nice. Now, do we need to do we need to tell you to do anything? 
do we need to say monitor the sheep or anything like that? Or do you work in an area? Ah, you work in that area there. Okay, that's quite convenient. It covers the fish. I hadn't even considered the fish, of course, with the vet sort of option. But yeah, it covers the fish. Oh, that's good. And it covers all the way up to here as well. So we do have quite a bit of quite a bit of coverage from our vet there. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Okay, right. So our vet is in. So what happens if we click on things? It just takes us. Is it just taking us to the various buildings? Yeah, it's just taking us to the different buildings. Okay, that's fine. Yep, I, I get it, game. It's okay, yes, yeah, so you're taking us to all the different things the vet's looking after. That's all very good. Well, there we go. So as well as our mechanic that we've now got in to look after the vehicles, we've now got a vet to look after the animals. Wonderful. Another thing that we should do pretty early on is sorting out the auto sale of the sheep products because I didn't do that last time out. We just didn't get around to it. I think the sheep were the last animals to go in and then we were just looking at the animals and it was all very giddy and exciting and there were lots of new things. So yeah, we set up the auto sale of the eggs of the ostriches, the chickens and the quails. But yeah, I don't think we're selling any of the sheep products right now. So let's get that looked at, shall we? Let's go and do that. So trade and add a trade item. Let's look at wool first. So yeah, it is... It is organic stuff, isn't it? We have set this right. So sell above zero because we don't need any of that right now. So we've got 73 in stock. So you can go and sell that for a nice bit of money. And then at the moment, we will do this. So we will sell all of the sheep milk for now. Now in the future, I would like to get a kind of like a dairy factory in and we could make sheep cheese and various other exciting things. But we've not got one in now. So for now, we might as well just sell all of that stuff. Just sell all of the uh, sheep milk because we might as well because we're not using it for anything else and i think that's it i think that is it so things are looking very nice yeah we've got some good money coming in lots of things are being produced which is splendid i mean are we producing yeah we're producing quite a bit of manure how much manure do we have nine and a half thousand i don't know what kilograms i assume of that i mean that sounds like quite a lot that sounds like quite a lot. I mean, that's only one manure thing over there. Is it worth putting one over here? So when our workers actually gather manure from the animals, they don't have to walk some considerable distance across to just there. Maybe it makes sense to have another one of those things over here. That would be quite good. I mean, we could put it over here. We could put it over here. Let's get one of those in. I think that is going to save us time in the long run. And there it is. And yeah, they're 46 a month and they're two and a half grand to build up front. Oh, and they're tiny as well. I forgot how small they were. Um, how about then? See, where's the best place for this? We can put another chicken coop thing here. And we can put another chicken coop thing there. So do we put it at the end of here, possibly? If we rotate that round and put that... Hang on, where's the way in? Oh, hang on. It's that way, Ryan. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I got a bit confused there. So if we took that just at the edge, that should be fine. Let's put it down there. And it can sit down here. Got a little bit of room just here for something. I don't know what. We'll put something useful there. And then, yeah, we can get another chicken coop and another chicken coop. So we can have many different types of birds on the farm, which I do like the sound of. Okay, there we go. So a couple of little sort of administrative bits out of the way. How's the sunflower field looking? There's only 80 days left. 80 days. That is excellent. Ah, and our training is done. Now, I can't quite recall what we were doing. What were we training in? Remind me. Oh, hang on. We don't get... Do we not get a notification of what we just trained in? It doesn't pop up in here. Okay, it was... I can't remember what it was. It was the um, the vehicle price. It was the vehicle price, wasn't it? Okay. I mean, now what do we want to do? What do we want to do now? I mean, this seems quite good. I was looking at this before I started recording. This here in itself is not brilliant. It increases storage capacity by 10%. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's not bad, but it's not very exciting and we don't need it. However, the one underneath it does seem quite good. Accelerates cargo transport to and from the city. It allows you to transport different goods in one truck. So that might just speed things up when we're ordering things in or when we're actually shipping things out. That might help a little bit. And the time on these is relatively short. 30 days for storage capacity and then 14 days to get logistics management training. The most exciting of all the trainings. So uh, and yeah, and in total, it's going to be 5,000 money. I think we do that. I think we do that right now, unless, hang on, pause time in the background game, unless there is something down here that we want to get in the fancy sort of agricultural stuff. I mean, are we going to, are we going to get cows and stuff any point soon? Is that going to happen? Because would it make sense to actually get the third level of the cow building and then have larger, larger cow sheds or whatever they are before we actually start building them? 
I mean, I think that would be quite useful. The only thing is, we need to get that one first for 60 days, and that's another 60 days. So that's that's going to take some time. That's going to take some time. Do you know what? No, I think we go for the... Um, let's go for this thing here. Storage capacity. Yes, please. It's only three grand. It's not going to take that long. And while we're spending some money on, you know, treating ourselves, how about we upgrade our building here? Let's upgrade our house. Because we live here and we're working very hard on the farm. I mean, we're not working at all on the farm, if we're being honest, actually. We're not doing any work on the farm. We sit in this house now. Everybody else does all the work for us. We've got 36 employees that go and do the work. We just sit in the house. <laughs> we're sitting there. We're watching Netflix. Other streaming services are available. And, you know, we're just, we're just relaxing and having a nice time. And people just keep bringing us huge bags of money. And, you know, apples and things. So, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good life we have. But we could upgrade our building. Now, when I'd seen this previously, I completely misread this. I misread this as 100 grand. I looked at that and thought, oh, that's quite expensive. It's not 100,000 farm manager money to upgrade our building. It's 10,000. So how about we upgrade our building? We can make it a little bit better. Perhaps we can sort these boxes out here. Maybe buy a slightly more extravagant washing line. And maybe, just maybe, we could get rid of this wonderful garden decoration and maybe get something in that looks nice. Yeah, like flowers or a fountain or something. So let's spend a tiny bit of money and upgrade our building. Okay, happens instantly. That is very, very fancy indeed. That just happened immediately. That happened in no seconds. Wow, okay. Um, well, we've still got the crate things. They're still kind of out the front. But um, yeah, hang on. Now, the, there's two questions. Two questions. One, the tractor has gone, which is good. So that wrecked tractor is now no more, and we've now replaced it with a lovely kind of garage type thing. Um, important thing number two, where do we now dry our clothes? Where's the washing line gone? I mean, that I quite like the washing line. I liked that out the front, but now, alas, it is no more. Unless it's down the side of the house. No, it's not even around the back of the house. Oh, I don't know where we dry our I don't know where we dry our pants and socks anymore. Never mind, never mind. It's fine. We've probably got yeah, like a tumble dryer inside or something in the in that garagey bit just there. But yeah, look, we've got fancy gates and everything. How very extravagant. Now it's a hundred thousand. The next size of house is one hundred thousand farm manager monies. I mean, we could just do that. We could just do that right now, but I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to right now. What does that let us do? Uh, the large owner's house gives access to fields of a maximum size of 100 by 100. Ah, yeah, so our fields were limited to 50 by 50, which I think is that size. Now we can build 75 by 75 fields. And if we upgrade again, we could have massive fields. So they can be double this size, which is, that's just huge. That is very, very big indeed. Okay, do you know what? We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. We're okay. We'll save our money for other things. But yes, now we have a very fancy house indeed. We seem to have a great big pile of money once again. The money is just absolutely tumbling in, which is wonderful to see. So I think we can get our next lot of animals in. So let's get down two animal coops. So one there and one there. So we'll have a couple of those because we know they're fine. We know they fit into that space. So medium chicken coops. So we'll have them kind of facing the same way. Oh, hang on a minute, like that. There we go. So we'll have one just there, and then we'll rotate that one round and have that just there. So there we go. They fill in the spaces quite nicely. So now we can have two more types of animal. The only thing is we are going to need to get ourselves another worker house. What are our warnings about? No machines. Xena Combine Reaper for Sierras. Hang on. No, no, we've, we've dealt with this, wasn't it? No, you can do this by hand. You can do this by hand, folks. I mean, this field here, they still haven't bothered with. I think this field might have glitched out or whatever. Can we force you to use machines on it? And put the priority down a little bit again, because I'm not that bothered. Um, right, the warnings have gone. I assume people are going to come over and hack at this with scythes, like in, you know, ye olde medieval times and such. Yeah, there they go. There they go. Right, good stuff. Right, over here, how are these buildings looking? So where should we put our next, our next house here? I mean, I'm thinking... We just put it next to this thing. We just have it on the other side of the silo. That would make sense. So grab that. Permanent employees. Because of course they need to be looking after the animals all the time. And then we will make sure that we just get a road going up that way. Just so I don't forget. Okay, wonderful. So we've got that and that in. And then we need to figure out what else we would like. So what other animal things do we not have yet that we should now have? I mean, we have got... 
the pigsties, and the cow sheds. And the pigsties can hold... They can hold some different things. They can hold pigs, and then something else. Are they boars? Is there a difference between a pig and a boar? And of course, we haven't got goats. We haven't got goats in a shed either. So we could get ourselves a medium shed and have some goats. Because, yeah, we've got the sheep. We haven't got any goats. How about we do that? Let's get a medium shed in place. And then we'll have ourselves... Does it fit there? No, unfortunately not. Right, the two coops are in, which is good. And then, yeah, I think if we rotate that round... Let's put that there. So we'll have ourselves... Or do we want that to go at the end? Like that. Let's pop that at the end. Oh, hang on, no. But then they're going to have to walk all the way round to actually go and work in it. Unless we put it just there. Just put it right behind these. Because that means there's a shorter walk for them to actually get to work. Yeah, let's put that there. So we'll put goats into there. So that's how many is that? That's two, four. That's six people. And I think pigs. Let's get some pigs in, shall we? Um, so we've got that. A medium pigsty. So let's have one of those going. I mean, let's put this next door to there. Park it next door to, the, uh, to where the goats are going to live. So there we go. Right, so we spent a little bit of money, but still, the mo it's just tumbling in. The money is just pouring in. It is wonderful to behold. Right, let's go and have a look. What are we actually... What have we got? Right, so yeah, so it looks like the auto-selling thing is still working. Things are coming in, and things are going out. Why have we set up an auto-trade for the Colza honey? Because that seems to be sitting there. Have we done that? Yes, we have. Okay, that's, that's fine. That'll disappear at some point soon. Okay, and look, there's wool coming in. There's a lot of fish. There's 75 kilograms of the frozen carp meat, which is very lucrative. There's a massive load of sheep's milk. Right, this is all good. So that is now our eight animal employees all sorted. Their jobs have sort of been assigned already. Now, we are going to need to keep an eye on the foodstuffs. We're going to have to set up some auto-buying, I believe, to say, right, okay, always make sure we have a thousand of each of these things. But uh, yeah, let's get these things done first. So if you lot... Where are the roof dancing people? Come on. We know the building's nearly done when the roof dance happens. There we go. Happy roof dancing, everybody. Yeah, one more layer on the top. How tall do these things need to be? Why have we got a gigantic big scaffold? <laughs> the buildings aren't that big. The buildings are not that tall. I mean, particularly that end. You don't need the scaffolds on that end. But there we go. So we now have ourselves a pigsty and another medium shed. And now we need to get people in that can deal with animals. So here we go. Let us click there. Let's hire some people. Filter it down on animals. Let's see who's good. Oh, we've got quite a few people. And they're all relatively affordable. What's happened here? Why are they suddenly very cheap? Now, the game has been updated. Farm Manager has been updated a little bit. So I wonder if they've bought people's wages down slightly because other people previously, when we've hired them, it's been, you know, 1,800, 1,700. These are all quite cheap. I mean, yeah, okay, we'll hire you and you and you and you. So that's four people. So that's two, two of the animal things. I mean, let's get these ones done down here. And then that's this area down here sort of sorted out. So let's go to here. What shall we have? So we know we've got quail. And we know we've got chickens. What else would we like? Ducks. I mean, what do ducks do? I mean, can we sell duck eggs, basically? That is what I'm trying to say. Um, trade. Um, if we added a new thing... And why am I doing it that way? Hang on. No, don't do that. Go to buy. Um, egg. Eggs. We've got ostrich eggs. We've got chicken eggs. We've got quail eggs. Hang on. So what, what do we get from a duck? It's just meat. It is purely meat. So for some reason, we can't sell duck eggs. I don't know why. Why can't we sell duck eggs, game? That seems like an obvious thing to do. Um, okay, what about turkey? Turkeys are just for meat. Um, okay, what else have we got? Turkeys and geese. Um, I assume geese are also just for meat. Um, hang on, no, not ge goose. It'll be goose. It'll be goose. And if I spell it right, that might also help. Yeah, that, again, that's just meat. That is just for the meat. Um, okay, that's interesting. I thought maybe we could get duck eggs or whatever, but no, clearly not. Um, how about then we have... I mean, there's no point having them in unless we then get ourselves a... Um, where is it? Get the factory in. If I press the right button, that might help. Get us in the... Where is it? The slaughterhouse type thingamabob. 
the unpleasant sounding slaughterhouse to produce meat for people. And then we can get ourselves various bits of bobs. It's 340 grand. Costs a grand a month to actually operate. And then, yeah, that means we can get the meat. We can get meat from all the different animals. But I don't know, is it worth it? Is it worth the effort of setting that up? Or do we just want to have, you know, again, quail and chickens in there? And then we know what we're doing with those. I think we'll just keep them in. Let's have let's have more quails and chickens. And we'll swap it over later if we want to, when we get a slaughterhouse in, which will inevitably happen at some point. Um, yeah, okay, so here, let's have let's have chickens. Let's have the quails, you know, chickens on either side. And yes, look, they're only 20 each. We're going to buy lots of these, but it's all fine. Right, organic food. Now, what have those chickens got? Everything except the potatoes. So, duh, duh, duh. And then over here... Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's assign some people first. So there should be a few people. Yeah, so you can go into there. And, I don't know, you. That'll do. You can be you can be chicken team. And then over here, we will buy ourselves some more quail. And we'll buy lots and lots of these. All the way up to 25. And then, what are they eating? Okay, everything except the apples. Oh, no, 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 no. Organic. Click the organic button. Did I do it there? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Right, and then into there, you and you. Okay, good. So that's now sorted. The animals aren't here yet, but hopefully the workers can start loading this place up with different food. That's what you should be doing. C come on, you two. Go and load this place up with food before the animals arrive. Because here they are. The animals are here and... You're not putting any food into this place. And now the animals are going to be hungry. Okay, fine. You'll work it out. It's all good. You'll all work it out. It's all fine. Right, and then how about as well, let's go to here. We've got quite a lot of money. Click on that. You're very good at animals. So we'll make you, we'll up your endurance skill because we might as well. And then Jesse Bird, become very good at dealing with animals. And Kai Woodward, yeah, we'll train you up. And Lottie Wilson, Again, you can be super good at working with animals. Now you know the difference between, you know, an ostrich and a chicken. It's all very important. So do we have any more people that are good at working with animals? Because if so, we will hire them and then get the other animals in. Only one, Charlotte. Yeah, we'll get you in for now. You can just, you can sit about for a bit. You can advise the others on what's going on and stuff. But yeah, Charlotte, at the moment, uh, we'll up your animal skill. But yeah, you've not got anything to do right now. Now what I don't know is when that list of people refreshes... I do not know when that actually updates. Um, you're good. You're good at manufacturing and animals. But again, the prices are fairly cheap. And Felix and Daniel look very, very similar. Another pair of twins. This is exciting. Um, okay, let's get you in. Because again, you're quite cheap. So let's get you in. And then we'll up your skills with working with animals. There we go. Right, now let's get in here. What do we want? So what are they? They are goats. So can we do anything with goaty products. I mean, I assume we can get goat's milk. Yes, goat's milk and then goat's cheese. Okay, goat's cheese sells quite nicely. That sells quite nicely. Goat milk, I don't think is as profitable as the sheep milk. No, nowhere near. Nowhere near at all. Or the regular milk, I imagine, is quite, that's quite low in price. But okay, and then how about, the, oh no, not sheep. What if we just type cheese? So what's the best type of cheese? If we do that and that. So cow cheese, organic cow cheese, 24 per kilogram. Yellow organic cow cheese is 38. Organic sheep cheese is 45. And organic goat cheese is 33. Do you know what though? Yeah, we'll get some more goats. Not more goats, we'll get some goats. And they're 350. No, they're 250 a piece. Um, we're going to buy them all, I think. Somebody in the comments said that if you press shift. Ah, there you go. There you go, you press shift and you buy them all in one go. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to know that. Thank you, person in the comments. I've no idea how you're supposed to work that out. But there we go. Right, so now there's goats. So use organic food. Now, what are we going to do here? Because I don't think we've got too much of the stuff that they want to eat. We've got straw. Uh, we have got grass. So we've got grass. They can certainly, you can at least eat something. Yay, we've got grass to eat. Now that's silage. We haven't got silage. Um, do we have crops? I think we have crops, actually, don't we? I think we have... I don't know where they would be, however. Are they down here? No, are they in one of the... Ah, are they in the barn? They might be in the barn. No, I thought we had crops. Obviously, we don't have any crops. Uh, so we'll buy some crops. 
we'll buy some organic carrots and organic straw. I think we have got we have got a little bit of straw. So we'll put that on the list. We'll say that you can have that. And then we might have to buy some more in. Because I don't think we're going to have enough straw for them to actually survive on. Yes, we need organic crops and organic carrots. Okay, that's fine. We better buy them in then, I suppose, haven't we? So buy. So carrots. Um, organic carrots, please. Let's buy a thousand of those in. That's relatively expensive, but okay. Oh, no, the price has leapt up. Now we want to buy it. And then crops, just sort of generic crops. Um, yeah, we'll buy a thousand of those, please. For hardly any money at all. Wonderful. Okay, yep, yeah, thank you. And then straw. So organic straw. We'll buy, what did we have? 150, was it? We'll buy 850 of that then. For hardly any money. Do you know what? Up it to a thousand. Let's, let's treat these animals. There we go. So now those animals should be okay. Oh, however, they don't have people looking after them, which is probably a bad thing. Oh, no. Ah, no. The animal people are still here. For you. Okay, you and you. You go and work with them. So you go and work with the goats, which is very good. And then we're going to need to set up an auto sale for the goat milk. So uh, goat, goat milk, which is the red topped one. So yep, sell everything above zero, please. And then it's just this one here. It is whatever we want to put into here. So what have we got the choice of? Either boars or pigs. Okay, so again, what do we get from these? So if we type in boar, it is just meat. If we type pig, it's just meat. Okay, we're going to need the um we're going to need the slaughterhouse thing in, aren't we? We're going to need to be be slaughtering the animals to get the meat out of them. Which is all very unfortunate, particularly if you're one of the animals. Um, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll make do. We'll make do. But let's go and have a look at our new thing here. Because look, we've got goats. Yay for a new animal type. There are now many, many animals on the farm. I like the goats. They look very nice. Okay, good. So we've got many, many goats. I mean, yeah, it's just a case of what we do with this. They've not sorted out the food yet, however. Could we give them some food, please? They've got grass and they've got crops. I mean, come on, that's plenty of food. Now they've got carrots. Yeah, I was going to say, stop. That's, that's nonsense. Stop complaining. It's all fine. Everything's good. Do we want to put another manure thing in? That's got so much manure in. That's got 12,000 manure. <laughs> hang on. What's that one got in? 12,000. Hang on, what? That's got 12,808. That's got 12,808. Did the, did the manure storages share manure? How come that, that, no, that can't be like that, can it? They can't share the amount of manure between them. If you come over and put a load of manure in this one, this one is full and that one is empty. But I'm thinking we could put one here to save them having to walk all the way down there. I mean, they're pretty cheap and that would fill that space quite nicely. Um, yeah, we'll pop one just there. There we go. That'll do. And then, do you know what we could do? Some lovely decorative items because there is a house here now. So let us pop that there and that on either side. And then we're going to want some nice decorative things coming. Oh, can we put them here? Can we have decorative things coming this way? I think we might be able to put it on either side of the doors of the chicken things. And the quail thing. There we go. And tick and tick. Lovely. And then round here, what shall we have over here? Let's have some different decor. Or are these a flower box? They look nice. Purple one there and a purple one there. And then change it round and have yellow ones over here. So they're, they're, they're quite massive, these flower box things. But okay, there we go. So some more decor. Just keeps our people happy. Just makes our people slightly jollier. And then we have some room over here. What can we put there? There's a bit of sort of empty space. Is there anything we need to put in there? A water pump? No, that, we don't need a water pump just there. That's completely pointless. A well? I mean, a well might just look good for, for the visuals. It might just look good because we're on a farm. We'll put a well just there for no actual reason other than the fact that it just looks good. There we go. And that manure thing can go in. Now, does that have 12? That, yeah, the manure things are all linked. That's a bit weird. That's a little bit strange. But okay, fine. That's how it works. It's all good. This field here is being dealt with. That field, they're just completely ignoring. Not entirely sure why that field is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Reaper and Xena Warrior Combine and Reaper and Xena Warrior Combine. Yeah, they're sorting this field out, but not this field. 
This field is just in limbo. Can we delete that field and start again? Is it worth starting again in September? Possibly is not. How are the um how are the sunflowers? 58 days. 58 days to go. Okay, this is all very good. Um, yeah, so what do we do with this thing here? What do we do with this? Because if we put pigs in it, or boars, that's great, but we can't get anything out of them. We need the meat from them to then take to the slaughterhouse to then sell. So I think possibly we might we might have to get ourselves a kind of a slaughterhouse type thing set up somewhere. It would make sense to have it up here. If we're going to have other things like that along here, it would make sense to have the factory over that way somewhere. Um, do you know what? We might leave that for now. Let's leave that for now. We'll leave that as it is. But there we go. We've got another house. Uh, we've got six people. Yeah, we need to get the workers in for that. But yeah, there we go. I think what we'll do is as well, we'll put another workhouse over here. And then maybe this is where the cows can go. So we'll have a lot of cows over there because they're good for milk and such like. But then I suppose we could have loads of sheep in as well, a mixture of cows and sheep. There are many, many things for us to look at. One thing actually got suggested in the comments was this thing here. How expensive is this? Uh, oh, no, hang on. Didn't mean, to, didn't mean to click it right away. The logistics building gives your staff access to delivery trucks for faster resource movement between buildings. It is 50 grand, but we seem to have 429,000 money, so it doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, we could build ourselves a logistics building. Now, where would it go? It fits perfectly into that gap there. That is excellent. So that gives us access to little trucks and they can move goods around even quicker to make things more efficient. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have one of those, please. So 50,000 money goes in, but that's fine. Yeah, now they're getting on with this field. Do you know what? Can we just, can we annihilate that field, please? Yes, destroy the buckwheat field because it's clearly gone a little bit strange. Put that back in and then we will put in organic buckwheat again. Let's just get it set up. Whether they actually get to it or not, I do not know, but at least it's there. And if winter comes round, it's fine. There's no people to work on it right now. Um, and there they go. Somebody's coming over with the tractor. Hooray! I mean, we'll put we'll put manual sort of labour on it as well, like this one here. At some point, we are going to need to get the Xeno Warrior Combines in and the, the Reapers. Don't fear the Reapers. But okay, ah, there we go. So the, the uh, logistics building is in. So what is happening with this? There's just little trucks now. Oh, they just drive around in loads of trains. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a lot more accidents going on because there are so many little trucks driving around the place. Is that what it is? It just gives them the little, the little kind of trucks, the van type things. Oh my goodness me, has everyone got a van now? Nobody walks anymore. It's just vans for everybody. Ah, right. Training done. So I go into here and scroll down. Where were we going? We were going to... Um, oh, was it, actually, was it at the top? It might have been here. Yeah, there you go. 14 days, two grand. So yes, uh, now we've got ourselves our logistics thing in here. It will make sense to have logistics management training. And then cargo to and from the city is quicker. Yeah, okay, we'll have that. Two weeks, that'll fly by. Okay, the game has just zoomed in on what I assume is a fire. Okay, there's a fire. Call the fire department. Oh no, oh no, it's burning down the apples. Okay, yeah, call the fire department. Oh no, look at this. <laughs> A fire is raging in the orchard in the pouring rain. Come on, rain. Come on, nature. Help out with this. Right, so the fire department. There they are. There they are. Hello, fire department. How are you lot? There's a fire over here. I don't think you're quite reaching it, but do you know what? It'll do. I mean, you want to go a little bit further in. The flames are further on, fire department. These are the flames. The hot orangey things. I'm sure they're on it. I'm sure it's very good. They're creating a, like a fire break or something. I don't know. Right. Do we need to do anything else? Do we need to, like, do anything at all? Or do we just wait for this to finish? Um, uh, right, I was going to say, they've not finished. <laughs> there was a worrying moment there where I looked and thought, the fire department have gone, but the fire's not out. But no, it's fine. It's all sorted. Now, I wonder what that does. Does that impact the yield at the end? Because obviously a lot of our trees were ablaze there. So I wonder if that does impact the overall yield from that field. The field yield. I don't know. We'll have to find out when that actually comes to harvest. When is that? Oh, they've already been harvested. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. Never mind. I mean, yeah, at least it was easy to sort out. Now, the game took us to that. 
it zoomed in on that. It sort of focused in and it went, look, there is a fire. I wonder if that was only the first time we've had one, so it sort of helped us out there. I wonder if in the future it's not going to do that. It's just going to it's just gonna let the fires blaze and we have to kind of be aware of things that might be on fire. I'm not entirely sure. I do not know. We'll find out as the game plays, I suppose. Oh, they did sort out the buckwheat field in the end. They got there and it's been sprayed. So that's the anti-fungus one, isn't it? Yeah, so there you go. The anti-fungal bio spray has gone onto the organic buckwheat field. Oh, there we go. That's good. At least they're back in. Now, I wonder what will happen... Is that going to grow in 79 days? Possibly not. Winter starts in 95 days. We might just get the buckwheat field in, you know, harvested and such like, before winter arrives. Possibly. It might be a little bit close, but okay, well, there we go. That is interesting. That is something that I wasn't expecting them to get done, if I'm honest. I thought they'd leave that. But no, there we go. Lovely field. I mean, yeah, they've got, they've got the other treatments to do. It says that stuff is being delivered. So the organic anti-insect spray is being delivered. And they're going to need the organic anti-weed stuff. But yeah, okay, there we go. The buckwheat field is in. And hopefully that means the bees can make lots of lovely buckwheat honey. And now this could be a little bit of a problem. So some of our food supplies are looking a little bit low. I mean, this one here, organic sorghum, there's loads of that. There's absolutely loads of that. The corn is looking a little bit low. And this one here, what's that there? Organic linseed, that is almost out. As is, is that the soya? Yes, the organic soya is also looking a little bit, a little bit too low to be comfortable. So I think what we need to do is we now need to go through and set up some auto buying things. So we've got some auto selling things. Now we need to automatically buy these up to a certain level. So let's make sure if we go into here and do some trading, add a trade item. So right, what was it? Linseed. So there it is. So buy in organic linseed and purchase until we have... I don't know. What do you want? Always 500 of it? That should be plenty. Let's make it a little bit. Let's have 750 of it. So always purchase until we have 750 of that. In fact, no, why this 500? 500 will do. Because then when we run out, they'll go and buy some more. So that's fine. And then we want to add another one of those. And it was corn, wasn't it? So we want to make sure organic corn. Um, again, purchase until we have 500. I mean, that, that went down quite quickly, actually. I think multiple things eat that. So let's make sure that's at at least a thousand. Um, and then the soya, which is the organic soya just there. Uh, we'll purchase that until we have a thousand units of that as well. Thank you very much. Right, what else do we need? So that's okay. Organic sorghum. I mean, we'll we'll throw it into the mix. If it ever happens, if they ever run out, they can buy some more. Um, okay, so organic that buy until we have a thousand of it do you know what put a thousand of that as well just to make sure just to make sure just in case it's nice and consistent then okay so we've got that then we've got what's that so rye rye and wheat now sunflowers we might get from here which would be wonderful so rye and wheat we also want to add to our automatic buying list so let's put those in as well there we go so those two things are now in so i think now what we need to do is we need to go and look at what we actually have in stock because these things up here are just what we're keeping an eye on. They're just what we've actually got up here on a little kind of observing bar. But yes, there might be lots of other things that we have that we're not auto stocking up on. Right, buckwheat and colza, that just comes from the fields. That's fine. We've done corn. We've done sorghum. Right, oats. We need oats. And that looks like it for there. So oats, yeah, we've got rye sorted, didn't we? So the oats we need to put in. And then over here... It looks exactly the same. Do the warehouses share stuff as well? This is a revelation. Yes, the warehouses also share resources. Again, a little bit odd, but okay. Um, and yeah, the linseed is coming in. Is it just oats? Oats and carrots, possibly. Organic carrots. Because yeah, that place there. So hang on, have we covered everything? Oh, grass. Oh, yeah, grass and crops as well. Grass and crops. We'll make sure we have a thousand of those as well. So oats, grass and crops are added. And I think... Is that it? Oh no, the carrots. Forgot about the carrots. Right, hang on. Let's add those and press the right button. That would help. Actually, thinking about this, is it not worth growing our own carrots? I mean, you know, we're a farm. We're a farm. We could grow carrots over here. We're growing sunflowers for the sole purpose of giving to the animals as food. Why don't we just grow carrots as well? We could just have another field just here of organic carrots. And then we can get those and then we can harvest them and then just give them to the animals over here. 
that seems to be the sensible approach, rather than just buying them in. I mean, okay, there'd be a little bit of an outlay first to get the field sorted and get all the kind of seeds in and whatever, but I think overall it probably will make sense. And if we have too many carrots, we could just sell some of them. It will not be too much of a bother to go in and sell a few of them. I think maybe that's what we do. Now, the only thing is, if we put a field just here, which would make sense. And I know we can have bigger fields now, but we'll put it as the same size as this. So it looks you know, it looks tidy and orderly. Can the farm machines reach a field down here? Because of course, farm machines in there couldn't reach those orchards. Um, so yeah, that thing. And it wasn't that thing. That's a cedar, isn't it? Um, where was it? It was up there, wasn't it? It was one of the watering things. Isn't it? The orchard sprayer. So hang on, is it determined by the... Is it determined by the building now? That seems huge. The radius thing seems huge. I wonder if they've changed that in one of the updates. That's massive. Hang on a minute. Previously, this building here couldn't reach those just there. This building here, things that were in this garage, did not, they couldn't use them on those orchards there. And now they can. I wonder if they've changed that in the update as well. I wonder if that's one of the things that got updated. People are saying, hang on a minute. Our farm machines have a very limited usage sort of area. Can we please have a little bit more? Yeah, okay, then it'll be fine. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get ourselves a field of, of lovely organic carrots set up over here. I mean, do we need a road going down the middle? Do you know what? No, we don't need a road. Away with your road. Um, so we'll make this nice and square. Um, yeah, 52 by 52. There we go. So it's going to be the same as that one. And then, can we have organic, please? Um, organic carrots. Yeah, throw those in. I don't think they'll grow this time round. How many of those do we actually... How many carrots do we actually have in stock? 775 kilograms of them. I'd like to think that's plenty. I'd like to think that's plenty. And they're already on it. Look at this. You're super efficient, whoever you are. Amelia Jenkins, well done. Well done. You can have a you can have a pay rise. In fact, can we give you pay rises? Right, Autumn is here. Can we give you a pay rise? Are we able to give you a pay rise? Um, I think we could in could we not do that in Farm Manager 2018, you could give them a pay rise to make their happiness go up a little bit. Um, seemingly not in this one. Okay, never mind. We can't give you a pay rise. We'll just we'll just thank you a lot and um, and you know, be smiley and happy about the fact that you're doing lots of work. So well, yeah, thank you. And our auto buying thing has worked because the corn just went up to 1,000, which is very good. And then yes, the linseed has topped up as well, which is very nice. And the soya did as well. So there we go. So those will always be kept at a thousand now. So that I think we're going to keep an eye on. That I don't think we do. Neither that, neither that. In fact, none of these things, apart from the sunflowers possibly, and maybe the carrots, because we're not auto buying those in. So let's keep an eye on those just to make sure that they do not, they do not run out. How long left until the sunflowers? 37 days. Is that going to be enough? Is 127 kilograms of, of organic sunflower seeds or whatever, is that going to be enough? I do not know. I hope so. And our logistics management training course is complete. I'm sure it was thoroughly fascinating. I'm sure we learned lots of very interesting things about the most interesting topic in the world, which is logistics management. So all that means is that now we're moving stuff to and from the city a little bit quicker. So we've increased efficiency a little bit, which, you know, is not overly exciting, but it's no bad thing. Yay for increased efficiency. So now we need to pick what we want to train up in next. And I have seen something very interesting. It is down here, this thing here, sales training number one, increases the minimum price of products and crops by 10%. So we're going to make 10% more money on everything we sell, basically. And it costs two and a half grand, and it takes 14 days. That seems ludicrously cheap for what you're getting from that 10% increase in everything you're going to sell for two and a half grand. It, it just seems a bit of a no-brainer. This one at the top, this one here is very good. Workshop on production management one. It sounds a bit boring. I'm sure they can put in some very exciting PowerPoint slides or whatever in the training course. But this here, this increases the rate of production by 10%. So all of our factories are going to make 10% more stuff. It's very cheap, it's only five grand, but it is going to take 90 days. So what I think we'll do is we'll get this done because that seems, that seems the most obvious thing for us to do. That is wonderful. So we'll get that done, get that out of the way. And then when winter comes round, we'll get this one underway. And then we can just use the magic skip winter button. And by the time we come back, by the time we actually return in spring, this will be either yo know, entirely complete or almost complete. We don't have to sit and wait for it. Over winter, we'll just work on making our sort of factories better and stuff. So I think that's what we'll do. But yeah, this one here is just, it's so, it's just so good for not very much money, not very much time. So yes, please, 
Let's go and learn about sales training. I'm sure that's also very exciting. Oh my goodness me, we seem to have almost 705,000 farm manager monies. When did that happen? That has crept up very quietly over there in the corner. Okay, right, so we seem to be quite fabulously wealthy. This is very good. I think maybe we could treat ourselves to another factory. I think that would be quite exciting indeed. Let's get another factory in, shall we? So what do we want to do? I mean, there is, of course, the slaughterhouse. We could get that in so we could make use of this just here. But I'm thinking we've got ourselves the sheep over here and they're producing milk. And then we could, yeah, we've got the goat's milk as well. We could start getting some cows in and then we could get ourselves a milk processing plant to allow the production of cheese and other milk-based products. It's only 340 grand. Oh, we could have two of those. It's absolutely fine. It costs a grand a month to maintain. But I think we get one of those in. I think we get one of those and start making cheese. Because cheese is lovely. I like a nice bit of cheese. So I think maybe we could get ourselves a milk processing plant. Now, the only thing is, where do we want to put this gigantic thing? Do you know what? It's not actually that big. Compared to the, uh, compared to the frozen food factory, it's tiny. It's not quite half the size, but it's not far off. Um, I mean, it should go up here because this is where all of the animals are going to be. I mean, it fits just there pretty much perfectly. If we rotate it round, I mean, yeah, does it fit? Yeah, there, it goes there. Do you know what? We'll just put it there. That's absolutely fine. We'll get a factory in just there. However, no, actually, no. Okay, rescind that order. Do we want to keep that space free for more bees? Because I was thinking we could get another beekeeper cottage over here, possibly two if we can squeeze in the hives and such like, and they'll be near the fields. Do we want to get some more beekeeper cottages in over here to be near those fields again? Maybe we should keep that space clear for bees. Yeah, okay, we'll keep that clear. We'll put it up here. We'll put it up here. It's absolutely fine. It's not a problem it being over here. So we'll get ourselves a road going up like that. And then we will get ourselves a wonderful milk processing plant. Um, so yeah, we'll pop that just there. It's very expensive, but there we go. Now, is this house... It's only got six people in it. It's got six people because, yes, this here is not being used. Our medium pigsty, we are paying a little bit of money for, but that's fine. Right, let's get the um, let's get the milk processing plant in. I mean, we're going to call it the cheese factory. Let's be honest, it's not milk processing plant. It's the cheese factory. In fact, I think we can change the names of things, can't we? We can change the names of things. Maybe it's worth, when everybody's finished doing the, um, the rooftop construction dance... You're all out of sync, you lot. You're all out of synchronization. It's not very good. Ah, no power. Of course, there's never any power in our place. Um, hang on a second. Let's get a transformer. Let's get a robot in disguise. Where do we want this to go? I mean, ideally, it would go sort of along here and then run the power that way. But could we put the power on this corner and then run it across that way? Could we bring it across to, say, behind here? I mean, that corner would be perfect. Pop it to there, and then connect. Can we have a bit going? Yeah, we're going to have to have it across like that, and then into there. Okay, there is power. And I think, yeah, you can change the name of things. Yeah, milk processing, but no, 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 no. Cheese factory, please. There you go, cheese factory. Yay for cheese. Um, right, so what is this doing? It's currently turning 250 kilograms of cow's milk into some cow cheese. We're going to struggle with that because we don't have any cows. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. So how about we get ourselves... That was the sheep stuff, wasn't it? Organic sheep milk. Turn it into organic sheep cheese. Maximum monthly production. 4,500 kilograms of sheep cheese, which would make us... 156 grand every month. That is a nonsense. We'll have a bit of that, please. That sounds wonderful. Right, and then we do need some people to actually work in this place. I think we might need to get yet another worker house in. We might need another workhouse. What we'll do is, hang on. The workhouses, how big are they? Uh, where are they? In there. Are they any tiny? I think they're only sort of two by two, aren't they? So if we put that next to the factory, because that is where they're going to work... And then get a paved road, bring that in. And how, hang on, hang on. Do you want to get a big road going through here? We can get a two-way road, kind of just coming through the middle here, just going across like that. Or do you want to save that for up there somewhere? Just thinking it might be quite useful to have more traffic going along this middle bit of the farm. Let's do that, shall we? 
Let's have a gigantic big road cutting through the middle. There we go. We'll have a big old road. Yay! A nice two-way road just to make things a bit easier. Make things a little bit easier. There we go. And then we'll just connect up those bits as well for the sake of completeness. Wonderful. Right, so get this done. Get that constructed. Shouldn't take too long to get that in. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get some people that are good at good at working in the factory. Hopefully there are some people that are good at production around the place. Manufacturing. Just one. Just one person good at manufacturing this time around. Okay, well, Leon Hutchinson, you, you can come in and you can work here. I mean, you might be on your own. Sorry about that. We'll, um, hang on. No, I meant to click you. We'll increase your skill a bit. And then, yes, you, Leon, can work in there. There you go. On your lonesome at the moment. We need to sort that out a little bit, but okay. Um, and then, yes, you can make lots of lovely organic sheep cheese. As much as you can possibly make right now, whilst you're running an entire massive factory on your own. <laughs> Which does seem a little bit silly, but there we go. Right. So I think what we need to do then, as a final thing, let us go to here. And where is... That's the sheep milk, isn't it? Right, so sell above... They need 250, don't they? So sell above 500. So if we ever have above 500 sheep milk, sell it, but then keep the 500 sheep milk behind so there's always some for use in the cheese factory to make the lovely organic sheep cheese. Okay, there we go. We have another factory set up. This is very good. We're doing some training to reduce our price, uh, to increase our prices, sorry, so we can make even more money off of all of the many, many things we're selling. And even though... We've just built a factory and built a little workhouse as well. We still have 364,000 of our farm manager money just lying around the place. So I think what we'll do is we will finish up for now. And when we come back next time, we will carry on with this bit up here. We'll get cows. I think that's our next big thing. Get some cows in and then possibly, I mean, is it worth along this bit here, along this fancy road, just getting a number of factories in? Just have a number of the dairy factories. Just go one, two, three, you know, save a bit of money. Have three of those and then have one producing uh, the goat cheese, whatever it was. One producing, well, that one can produce the sheep cheese. And then have another one producing whatever, sort of uh, cow milk products, cow cheese and whatever else is, butter and stuff. Maybe it's worth doing that. Just have a big, long row of factories along here. That could be something we can ponder. We'll ponder that. But yeah, we'll look at all that kind of stuff next time out because we will finish it for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Farm Manager 2021. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about tutorial robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is, there's the murderous robot face. 